It was 1971. He was going to work as an engineer for the Zimmer nuclear plant, but a hiring freeze changed those plans. So George Schaefer Jr. sent out at least a hundred resumes looking for another job. One of the only offers came from a Cincinnati bank, and as they say, the rest is history. George Schaefer Jr. has come a long way from his early days as a Fifth Third Bank management trainee at a salary of $8,500 a year. Appointed president and CEO in 1990, George has led the growth of Fifth Third to a $75 billion financial services corporation, serving over 5 million customers in eight states. You've got to work hard. You've got to be able to sell. You have to be able to sell your product, to sell yourself. You have to be a salesman. You have to be able to get along with the other people in the organization. George credits much of his success to a strong work ethic. He was born on Cincinnati's west side, went to Elder High School, and then graduated from the U.S. Military Academy, West Point. Achieving the rank of captain, George served in Germany before going to Vietnam in 1969. While in Vietnam, he built a 25-mile supply road 50 miles north of Saigon and was awarded the Bronze Star for Valor. After joining the bank, George attended evening classes to earn an MBA in finance at Xavier University. I think my philosophy and the bank's philosophy are pretty well aligned, and I think in any business, in, in any occupation, that in integrity and honesty are really the keys. And I spend a lot of time at the bank trying to get our 20,000 associates all to communicate with each other and to talk to each other and to work as one team. My friendship with George Schaefer probably means more than most any other friendship I've ever had. Whether it's on the campus of the University of Cincinnati, whether it's with children, whether it's with older people, George just relates to them like he knew them all his life. And if you take his leadership at the bank, he obviously has created a large number of jobs with his acquisitions and other things that he's done. He uh, is a leader nationwide. Speaking of leaders, here's George Schaefer, Fifth Third President and CEO. George. Thank you, Johnny. George is George. George is honest, straightforward. I think George is clearly a community within himself. He values this community. He's taken a bank in business and made it national, and yet his commitment to Cincinnati is very real. Last year, with George Schaefer's guidance, Fifth Third provided $20 million to community development, education, health care, art, and 300,000 volunteer hours. Why is it important for Fifth Third to be involved in this? As you know, we've been associated with the Children's Hospital for a long time. I sit at the bank. We have always had a strong history of giving back to the community, whether it's through the United Way or the Fine Arts or the thousands of things that our employees do out in the community. George Schaefer is a well-balanced, wonderful human being. He's like a natural resource. Everybody needs him, and at the same time, he does not run around asking you to give him any praise or anything else. He just wants to see the community succeed. We have a historical project, the Theodore M. Berry Children and Family Learning Center. And Fifth Third jumpstart the project. They're not only our bank of choice, but they also donated to the project. He is proud that Fifth Third is there and make an impact. And plus, he loves children. At Fifth Third, we've always been big believers in education. A good education seems to solve social problems, whether it's success by six, the current program, whether it's every child succeeds, whether it's uh, private education, whether it's helping the, the uh, Cincinnati public schools, we do spend a lot of time on education. When you ask him, why are you here concerned about these little preschool children? And he always said, they're our future bankers. He's very concerned about the youth. Schools, summers, what are they doing? What are the kinds of things that they need to learn? Are they going on to college? I think the best advice for young people is to encourage them to do the best at whatever they're doing. And this is what I tell my own children. Just keep your heads down and work hard and success will find you. George was recently asked by city manager Valerie Lemmy to lead the city of Cincinnati's economic task force. He is chairman of the Board of Trustees at the University of Cincinnati and serves as a director at Children's Hospital. So he analyzes things very quickly, makes a decision, and you move on. Now, if you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're right, you're right, but you move. George is a businessman. He understands business, but he also understands what makes that business successful. And it is the people, it is the community, it is the values that we hold. And he knows in order for him to be successful, we in this community must be successful. 
Junior Achievement is proud to welcome George Schaefer Jr. into the 2002 Business Hall of Fame. 